I got early access to Gorilla Tag's new Halloween map. Well, sort of. So for those of you who do not know, just a couple of days ago now, there were a couple of people, I'm not gonna name names, that absolutely leaked the upcoming Halloween update that's gonna be coming out in just one month from now, and this is everything you need to know. So if you enjoy any part of this video whatsoever, then don't leave without subscribing and maybe even liking. And if I'm lucky, leave a comment for me to read. I love reading all of the comments I get on my videos, so leave something for me to leave a little surprise for me, and don't be rude, okay? Don't, don't do it. So for those of you who do not know, currently in the game, Game, it's summer going into fall. The fall update usually happens at the beginning of October, and guess what day it is today? It's the 26th of September. So we only have four more days until summer is officially over. Well, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember when the last day of summer is officially on the calendar, but I'll put it up on here once I find it. What that means is that in just a couple of weeks, Gorilla Tank is going to be getting the biggest fall update leading into the Halloween update. As you can see, right now we have the Creepy Crawly and Bayou Boogie items, as well as a new sewer map, which actually leads into a Bayou map. So the sewer is just a connected tunnel which when you drop down you will see there's actually a bayou map with a giant mansion right in the middle. And in this map are many, many, many secrets and things you may have missed that'll lead us to the next secret map as well as the new Halloween update. Now since it's nighttime in Gorilla Tag right now, it'll help me find the secrets that I'm trying to show you way easier since uh, during nighttime they have denser fog but actually the lights are brighter so they put the candles on brighter and everything else is brighter. So it should be easier for me to show you the secret that I'm meaning to show you. And it's in the shape of this grave right here. Yep, if you've already guessed it, keep your guesses to yourself, but comment them if you've got it early. But I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean, and it's not this one, although this one's very close to the one I'm gonna show you. It's a gravestone with a name on it, a very specific name of a ghost. Here it is, the Lucy Grave. Now, the Lucy Grave is important because during Halloween, by the way, there'll be pictures on screen so that you can see exactly what I mean. There is usually a Lucy ghost that terrorizes the forest map. Now, do you see what I mean by when I say forest map? Well, we're not in forest map right now, which means this Halloween update, we're actually going to be getting a Lucy ghost in the Bayou map. That's right, we're going to be getting a living, breathing ghost that chases you to your demise and brings you up to the sky this Halloween. Now, for those of you who do not know, the Halloween update will most likely come out somewhere around October 12th to 15th. We don't have that long to wait, probably about two weeks before we see Lucy come to life. Now, like I said, there will be pictures on screen of Lucy and exactly what kind of terrorizing she does. There'll be a video exact as well to show you what she does, and it's usually red or blue Lucy. Red Lucy is very scary blue is calm and peaceful, but red again will chase you and eat you. And the bayou map just sets the perfect scenery for this to happen. As you can see, it's foggy, scary, and there's a bunch of gravestones and just probably dead people in here. Let me rephrase that, dead monkeys. And in the mansion, it's creaky, old, and let me just show you. The first thing we see when we come in the mansion is a literal ritual table with old salt from a dead body on it. And then when we come in here, there's a- Whoa, whoa, whoa. You think you're gonna watch the rest of the video without- without seeing me? I'll tell you about something really, really cool that I got a chance to play a while back and it's called Stilt VR. Stilt VR is an immersive, first-person, gorilla tag type game, but instead of gorilla arms, you have really bouncy stilts that bounce you around locomotionally anywhere you want. And I've played it a couple times, I made a video on it, which will be on screen. In there, I tried out Stilt VR, it was amazing, amazing experience, and I'm giving you guys the one-time opportunity to get 50% off your purchase of the game on Meta, and with my code, which is new tour and a bunch of random numbers, it'll be in the description. Um, if you want to pick up a copy of Stilt VR to support me as a content creator and help me for what I do, as well as to play the game for yourself 50% off one-time purchase, then go down to the description pick up a copy of your, for yourself and try it out. I think there's also a free trial for it, but do use my links in the description if you are gonna free trial it, because at least that way, it helped me in some way. So thank you, everyone who's tried so far. Lots of you have actually bought the game from my links, so thank you, anyone who does that, and I might be doing uh, a still VR video in the future, so thank you for that. Broken furniture. In here, there's a piano. It's completely broken with weird sounding notes, and then in here, there's the creepiest hallway in the house, which is creaky and old. Then there's also an old clock right here, which just adds to the Halloween aesthetic. And let me know down in the comments if you're excited for Halloween because I know that I am very excited this year. If you trick or treat, let me know that as well. But just so you know, there will be new cosmetics as well. And while I'm going through this house, I'll actually put them on screen of what kind of cosmetics you should expect to see. The first thing we'll be seeing is a flashback sale, which will in fact include the old Halloween cosmetics from last year. And then a week later, we'll be getting the new Halloween items, which we do not know yet. But right now, I'm just having fun dancing on the bed. But one thing I do know that might be making an appearance is cosmetics that are seen in the Haunted Mansion. As you can see, one of these cosmetics cosmetics being this. This is actually you can buy right now in the creepy crawly sets and I'll promote, I'll, I'll pre, I don't 
don't know, just a mask, okay? You did not hear anything. In here, you can see there's an unreleased cosmetic in the background, which is a red umbrella. It looks like a blood umbrella. I don't know how else to explain that. And then I think there's another painting with an unreleased cosmetic in here. Here's another unreleased cosmetic. As you can see, there's the shirt, as well as that baby that's unreleased. And if you actually look at that painting, it'll look very similar to a statue sitting right over here. It is actually this monkey right here. There's three statues in this map. There's one that's holding a torch, not knowing what to do. Then there's this one, which is actually holding a baby. And uh, basically, I, I don't know, she's just praising her baby. And this is actually seen on the painting inside that I was showing you before. There'll be a screenshot back of that. So you can actually see what I mean. And then over here is the the actual the actual statue of the guy confused without his torch anymore. And just so you know, every statue in this game will actually have fireflies going around it. So if you want to know where it is, it'll have a firefly. Now this painting isn't actually in the house, but they might be adding it soon. And then the last one is a Jedi master or something. I, I don't know, but he is calm and ready for anything. And as you can see, the, the, the flies are over here as well. So that's pretty cool. But before the Halloween update comes out, like I said, there will be a fall update, which is going to decorate forest map as well as every other map in the game. We don't know if Bayou is going to be getting a fall actual change because it's already very, very dull in here and there's no good grass. It, it never gets sunny. It's always foggy. So it might not be changing at all. But for every other city like Metropolis, uh, the city map, forest, everything else will be getting a fall change. And a week after that, we're going to be getting the Halloween updates. And if you guys would like to know more about the Halloween map changes, let me know and I'll make another video because the next video will actually be of me getting into it early. So if you'd like to do that, then comment, go early, uh, and like the video just so I know that you're actually secured and locked in. If we get if we get 500 likes on this, then I will be getting into the new Halloween app. Oh my gosh, I'm so glitchy right now. I'm literally liking it real. The secret map also has to change, for those of you who don't know. It has been way too long since the last secret map change, and people are thinking this secret map change may finally be the space map and or forest slash rainforest map. Although, I think the rainforest map is going to be optimized for the new cave map. As you can see, if you come into the cave map through the igloo entrance, you will notice the cave's current entrance is being blocked off, and we have to wait to see what they're going to be doing with it. Well, that, that sky's really cool. But they're going to be making a new map right here, and they're currently in the process of doing it. We don't know how far along yet, but once I do get a progress update, I'll make another video based off of the mountains. But for now, we are kind of locked out of mountains. When we do get more updates, I will make an update on that. There will also be probably some really good mechanics in this update, because for those of you who do not know, in the last Halloween update, we had a flying broom that went around forest map in circles over and over again that you could hop on at any time, but it would go slow, 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 fast, fast, fast. It went in a pattern of three, so it would go slow, 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 fast, 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 and then slow, 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 slow. That was wrong. I'm sorry. I meant slow, slow when it's picking you up. The broom would pick you up right here. If I can find a video and put it up, I will. Would quite literally fly around, slow down here, pick up people, and then go up, around, around the forest map. And it was very scary, but it was peaceful, and it just wanted to take people for rides. They also had a ritual site for Lucy, and over here they had pumpkins, and a giant pumpkin is always placed right there. There'll be a picture of it. There's always a giant pumpkin right here that people can play around in, and actually it gives you a boost to climb these mounds, these, oh my gosh, these walls easier. So you can actually take a boost off the pumpkin and get up these walls way faster, and it's just a lot more effective. So if you have any other ideas for what the next Halloween update's gonna be, or you'd like to see me try it out for myself, let me know down in the comments, and make sure you like the video so that I know you're interested. Thank you all for watching, and as always, I will see you all.